welcome back to my channel right so tonight we're going to do the sculpted tiger design I'm going to do it all on one hand so it's actually going to be on a hand not tips and as you can see in this part of the video I'm trying a plastic tip over the top of mine which fits quite well so I've sculpted it and shaped it so it matches my nail and then what I do is I get cling film and I cover the tip and then I'm working on the tip for the sculpture for the entire sculpture so this will enable me to take my time and if I need to go to the toilet or have a coffee break you know you name it I haven't then got to go and do those things with wet sculpture gel on my nail it's on the tip and it stays there until it's um, finished and cured under the lamp So at this stage you have to know or have a plan in action of what you're going to do and where and what the layers would be like because this is in effect a relief sculpture so it's only like 2D really um, even though it's called a 3D effect it's not really quite 3D um, so you have to think of the layers that you've got to build up from the bottom to the end which will be his nose and then work out what's going to go where and I have found with this sculpture gel, once you've got that plan in place, if you could set each layer before you proceed to the next layer, it means that the gel underneath obviously won't move because this is very soft stuff and it can be very difficult to work with uh, doing something like this. It's all right for flowers and things like that, they're really easy, but doing a proper sculpture, it can be quite difficult. So I recommend that you set each layer before you go on to the next one but obviously that also means you can't make any mistakes so if your first layer has got a mistake then it's going to ruin the whole thing so as you can see there I've set the first layer I've moved on to the nose and the muzzle and now I'm actually finishing off with the chin so it's turning out really well I'm really pleased with it um, you could just leave it here, but I carry on to decide to do the whole face. <clears throat> so it encompasses the whole nail, except for the very top by the cuticle, which is going to be painted with stripes and things later, as you'll see. One thing I have noticed is this gel does move after you've sculpted it. It does kind of settle. It does move a little bit, doesn't stay in place. So you do have to work quite quickly. So once you've got it the way you want to, don't leave it sitting for too long because it does sort of sag a little bit. Just put it under the lamp straight away.
To help manipulate this sculpting gel, I'll just use a little bit of alcohol spray. And basically, I apply the piece of gel first, pat it into place as you can see what I'm doing now. But it's sticky, it gets a bit sticky and it sticks to the um, applicator or the brush. So then if you spray the item or spray your brush with alcohol spray and then go in and pat it, it allows you to smooth it out to a fashion. But it's not brilliant to be honest, it could have been a lot smoother. Um, but you know, the overall uh, result, once it's been painted with the uh, gels, it smooths it all out because the gels is self-leveling anyway, so any little imperfections disappear under the nail varnish. So it's been set under the lamp now and as you can see I've taken it off the stand and now I'm just taking it off the plastic tip, there's the cling fill on the back. Right, so now I've managed to take it off without breaking it and I've super glued it actually onto my nail that's already painted and ready. And now I'm just painting it all over with Model Wands Jingle Bell, I think it is. Yeah, Jingle Bell Gold Glitter. And I'm starting to add black in all the areas and the eye sockets I've painted on the nose. And now I'm starting to do the stripes. And it's starting to really take effect now. Looks good. No time to prep the rest of the nails for the finished design. Right now, time for the rest of the design. So I'm going in now with Model 1's Key Black, which is just basically a black gel nail varnish. And I'm doing tiger stripes. I've decided I'm going to do an entire nail on this one, pretty much almost to the top. And then on the next one, I'm only going to do part of the way. So it's different and then on the last two fingers I'm going to do the tail. There you go, it's brilliant, I really love it. Got some more videos coming up in the future, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And thanks for watching.